All right, so here is protein. Ooh, synthesis, which means making protein. Okay. You guys like stood up in front of the classroom and um, you worked this out. So here it is just quickly. All right. So that is the nucleus <laughs> inside of the cell. So this whole paper or much of the paper. <laughs> okay. There you go. So there's the cell. So um, what happens first is remember DNA doesn't want to leave the cell. Because that's its hood, yo. And so it opens up and they make an RNA copy. Just one strand. Okay, because we need that message. So we call this first process transcription. You write the script. Okay, so that RNA, which is mRNA leaves the nucleus and it goes and finds a ribosome. Alright? That ribosome reads the message. Okay? And little things called um, tRNA bring in what it codes for. And it codes for amino acids. So attached are little amino acids. And those are your gumballs. So, after each little message is read, it brings in the amino acids, and your final product is a protein. Do you remember? Does this sound familiar? Okay, that process of reading the RNA and making a protein, we call that translate. Translation. So it's translating the RNA and making it into a protein. Okay, remember that if, an, if this is an RNA, say that strand there that it, we just wrote in green. Say all the letters on it look like this. A. U. -T. Remember, because RNA doesn't have a T, instead it has a U. So, so a different one. Okay, well, let's say that that's the message. Remember, it's read three letters at a time. Okay, so like, um, say it enters the ribosome this way. The first word would be CCG. Okay, so as it reads it, the way we know how to do that, remember we use a codon chart. And I don't have a picture of a codon chart, but um, you have one on your paper. <laughs> that's um, the codon chart. I remember there are letters here. There are letters here, and there are letters here. So the way you look at it is the first letter C. So you'd find C here, and C is going to tell you what row it's in. Okay? The next letter is C, so that's going to tell you, sorry, Cora's starting to wake up, what box it's in. And then the last letter is going to tell you exactly which amino acid we're looking at. So that is how you... Um, read the RNA and use the codon chart. And so you guys are going to do that. You have some ones you need to um, make into RNA and then um, later um, yeah, find the codons for. Okay. That's it for that section. Bye.